What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a GraphQL API in Strapi, and I'm going to perform some GraphQL queries and mutations in our model. So this is our model, the team content type with a name, a location, and a website. Now let's install the GraphQL plugin. And as part of the plugin, we get a feature named shadow crud that automatically generates the type definition, the GraphQL queries, mutations, and resolvers based on our model or content type. Okay, now let's go to Visual Studio Code. Let's stop the server and let's install the GraphQL plugin for Strapi. So this is npm run Strapi install GraphQL. And as I mentioned before, the shadow crowd feature is enabled by default and it's going to automatically generate the schema, the mutations, queries, etc. And now it's going to rebuild the admin UI and it's going to generate an endpoint, a GraphQL endpoint, so that we can access GraphQL to run our queries. So let's run the server and start. Okay, now let's go to GraphQL, that is the GraphQL playground, and we can run some GraphQL queries here. Before I forget, uh, let's go back and let me show you where Strapi is going to generate our GraphQL schema. We go here to exports GraphQL, and here we can see the schema generated by Strapi when we install the GraphQL plugin. Here we have the admin user, we have the input to create our team, the team input with the name, the location, and the website. Here we have the team type with all the fields, identifier, these two attributes that I generated by Strapi, the same with these two created by and updated by. And here we have the attributes that we assign here, the name, the location, and the website. And here we have some other operations. For example, here we have the create team mutation, the update team mutation, and the delete team mutation. Okay, now let's go to GraphQL and let's perform some queries and mutations. Okay, first let's run a query to get the list of existing teams. If we go to the administration panel, we only have one team. So if we run a query to get the list of existing teams, we are going to get just this team. So this is teams. And here I'm going to return three attributes, the name, location and the website. You can see here this GraphQL IDE is going to autocomplete all the queries. It's going to take the schema from here. Let me show you. Here we have all the schema definitions. So these schema definitions are imported from the file that I show you here. Basically this schema.graphql file. Okay, if I run this query, here I get the team that I just show you here. Okay, so now let's run a mutation to create a new team. So this is mutation. There is an auto-generated mutation that is create team. So this is create team. And here I need to pass an input. And this input is going to include a data attribute where I'm going to pass the three attributes that are required to create this object. So this is name. For example, let's say Juventus, the location, in this case is Italy, and the website, www.juventus.com. And once this mutation is performed, I want to return some attributes from the team, let's say the identifier, the name, the location and the website. Okay, let's run this and we get the data of the new team that we created. Now let's run a query again to get the list of all the teams. So this is teams, let's say name and location. And we're gonna get Barcelona, Spain. That was the first record that we already created. And this is the second one that we just created running the mutation within this ID. Okay, now let's run another mutation to update the name of a team. So here we also have another 
mutation auto-generated by Strapi. So this is update team. And here we need to pass an input. And in this case, we need to pass two things. We need to pass a condition to filter what is going to be the team that we want to update. So this is where. And here we need to add an expression. For example, we just want to update the team with ID equals to seven. That is the identifier of the Juventus team. And we need to specify what is the data that we are going to change. So this is data. And let's say that we want to change the name. So this will be name. And let's say that we want to append a value to Juventus. Let's say Juventus Football Club. And as a result, or once we run this update mutation, I want to get some attributes from the team. So I want to get the new name. It's actually like this. I want to get the name of the team, the location of the team, and the website of the team. And let's get the identifier as well here. So if I run this, I'm going to get an error because I'm not allowing to perform updates in my API. So I need to go to roles and permissions. I need to go to public. And here I need to allow specifically to update records. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to enable update and I'm going to save this to apply the change. So now let's go back. And if I run this, now I'm able to update the name of the team. And as we can see here, the name has changed with the value that we assign here in our mutation. Okay, now let's perform the last mutation here. Let's delete a team. So I'm going to remove everything from here. Okay, now let's use here another mutation that is auto-generated by Strapi. This is the delete team mutation. And here I need, we need to pass a condition to delete the team. So we need to send an input. And here we need to pass the expression that is going to be the condition to delete the value. And this is where and here we need to pass the expression that is ID. And in this case, we're going to delete the team with ID seven. And as a result, I want to get some info of the team that I just deleted. Let's say the name. Okay, let's run this. And here we also get a 403 because we need to specifically allow to delete teams. So let's go back. Let's go to rules and permissions, public, and I'm going to enable to delete teams here. And I'm going to save this. Let's go back and let's run the mutation again to delete this team. And now we are able to perform that mutation successfully. And now if we run a query to get the list of existing teams, this is teams. And this is ID name. So if I run this, we're just going to get Barcelona. That is the only team that we have here. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. And I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.